Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. I actually forgot to mess around with that audio setting. That needs to go up a little bit. There we go. Alright, cool. Now we're set to go. U, uh, last we left off, we learned that the score, like, predicts people dying in droves, which is really unfortunate, and that uh, these Watchers let that go down, which is not cool by any means. So now we're going to go and try and stop the fall of St. Bina, because the score says it shouldn't happen, so the Watcher guys are going to be like, yeah, you can go and try and stop it. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go stop it. Do I go down here? I remember going down here before and it was like a dead end. Still nothing here? Alright, cool. Where do I go to get to wherever it is I'm supposed to be? There's some kind of a road I'm supposed to take or something that'll lead me up? This leads to Tears Room, doesn't it? Yeah, this is Tears Room. What's back here? What's this? Ah, this is the roster. It contains a list of everyone living in Aldron. Oh, but it's missing some data. Say, Luke, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but could you help fill in the roster information? Sure, but what do I do? Every time you meet someone significant, just write down their information with this item. I got a character disc. Okay. If you do that, next time we open this book, information about the new people will automatically be added. That's cool. Duly noted. It's not our most important priority, so just do it when you think of it. I'll go ahead and enter our own information right now but I'm a replica. But you're still a resident of this world. Yeah. Alright then. This is a chest with a skilled forte in it. Okay. Alright, well, I think we're done here then. Let's read Luke and T- Whoa. Holy cow, a lot of stuff here. Oh, it's already got everyone that we can play as, it looks like. Why does it change his hair like that? It, like, changes it to Luke style, I think. Ah, whatever. Wait, do I get to, like, keep it out? I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like it normally does. There we go. Alright, anyways. I, I'm not messing with all that. It looks way too complicated. I don't want to accidentally do something I don't want to do. Van hated the score. He was always talking about it, here in this room. He'd stand about where you are now, and say he could never forgive a world that let Hod die. Why does he care so much about Hod? The Isle of Hod was Malkuth land, destroyed in the Hod War 16 years ago. It was our home. Hod fell into the Cliffoth, just like Exera Youth. Van and my mother, who was pregnant with me, fell into the Cliffoth. Van probably used a phonic hymn. Something happened before I went to the Outer Lands. Van returned to this city, something he didn't do very often. Ash seems to suspect something. Ash is still a bit dainty. He'll cause trouble if he learns that the people of the Outer Lands will be annihilated. Shall we have Sink keep tabs on him? Yes. I thought my brother was planning something terrible. At least that many people were going to die. I couldn't allow that to happen, even if Hod had been left to die because of the score. I swore I'd stop him. Even if it meant killing both of us. Tear. But it looks like I failed. I couldn't save Axera Youth. That's because I... I can't blame it all on you. I took an assignment in the Outer Lands in order to stop Van. You're strong. Am I? I wonder. Too strong. But thanks for telling me about all this. I think maybe I understand you a little better now. That's the first time you've ever thanked me for anything. Really? I'm so happy you two are growing close to each other. It's not like that. By the way, what did you come here to get? A book on phonology. I thought you would need it. Why? A hyper-resonance is caused by seventh phonons. I think this will help you learn to control them. Oh, thanks. I got the principles of phonology. The Yulia Road is to the right of the meeting room. Let's go. Alright, so that's where I need to go. I forgot that I actually had to come up here. But, uh, why did you stay? Oh, this is gonna be asking why Tyr didn't go with the others. How come you didn't go with Ash and the others, Tyr? Why should I have gone? I had no reason to. Yeah, maybe not, but... I was ordered by Moe's to search for the seventh phone stone. The one in Axiri Youth turned out to be a fake. Granted, I have to report that, but that has nothing to do with Ash. Besides, he's one of my brother's troops. I can't trust him. Oh. 
So, don't think I stayed for you, either. I plan to discuss my course of action with my grandfather. You just woke up before I left. That's all. Cold. But truthful. Oh, yeah. Right. But I'm going with you now to watch you and see... See whether you really... Ch I can't read. Whether you really can change. Remember that. I don't know why I couldn't read that sentence. Yeah, I know. I... I'll do everything I can. I need a drink of water. Alright then, cool. I forgot that I had to come up to this room. I was just coming up here because I remembered this door. And I thought this would lead me where I need to go, but this actually leads to the, uh... To those flowers, so... Not what I needed. Anyways, where I do need to go is to the right of the meeting room, apparently. Do 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 do. Is this where I, this is probably it? Yulia Road. Let's let's go. It's time. This path connects to the Aramis Spring on the Padamian continent. That place is crawling with monsters. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm scared. It'll be all right, Mew. Here we go. Yeah, shut up, thing. How does this work? Like teleportation? This is a nice visual. I guess we teleported. Aramis Spring. Dumped us out into the water. It's all right. You won't get wet. I would it really matter if you did get wet? How come? Apparently, the force from the Sephiroth spout pushes the water aside. Those Sephiroth things sure are strong if they can lift the whole land into the sky. And I destroyed one of them. Standing around depressed isn't going to help anything. You're right. I came back here to do what I can. Man, I'm hopeless. All right, let's go. The Yulia Road. Wow, that was neat. Shut up, thing. It sure took me by surprise, getting thrown into a pool like that. You said it uses the Sephiroth, right? How does it work? We don't understand the theory behind it, we just make use of it. There are many more phonic arts and phone... Uh, phone? Is it's phone, isn't it? Phone machines left from the Dawn Age. But we just don't fully understand them yet. Oh. The Dawn Age must have been a pretty amazing time. I mean, the Dawn Age was when Miasma was everywhere, right? So that must have been horrible. It probably was. In fact, Yulia herself is said to have helped invent most of the technology of the time. So that's why it's called the Yulia Road. Yes, Yulia is said to have founded it. I heard that Yulia was a great person, too. Yeah, it sounds like it. I was never interested in that stuff, so I never bothered to learn about it. Well, now's a good time to start. One step at a time. Yeah. Alright, let's go then. Up this way, it looks like. How are we gonna get off of this continent? What continent are we on? She said what continent we're on, but I don't know which one that is because I don't know the continent names yet. Got a Carmine Chamber, that's good. Should probably put that on someone. Should probably put that on somebody. Carmine is red, right? Uh, let's start upping F Fangblade Rage, I guess. May as well, right? Do I even use that one often? Ah, whatever. I'm not that worried about them. I'm gonna be taking a pretty much set it and forget it approach to these things. It's about time you showed up, Luke. Thank goodness. Hey, you cut your hair. Nice. Clean cut. Looks good. It's just like I saw when I was connected with Ash. Guy waited for me. Guy. Huh? What is it? I... I'm not Luke. 
Jeez, I don't need you talking like Ash, too. But I'm a replica. So? That guy doesn't like to be called Luke anyway. I say take it. Take it? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. You sure have, though. You don't have to put yourself down so much. I'm not. It's just... Sure you are. Who cares about names at this point? You could at least look happy to see me after I went to the trouble of waiting here for you. You're right. Thanks. Luke said thanks? He says he's going to change. Looks like you never do. All right. Friend for life title. That's a good title to have. All right, sweet. I can play his guy. Thank goodness. Although playing as Luke wouldn't even be that bad, but you know, I just prefer guy. Definitely my favorite to play as so far. 6,000 gold, don't mind if I friggin' do. And look at how steep this is. How do I walk up that so effectively? Save point. I think we're back to save file one for today, it looks like. Let's go ahead and save over that bad boy. Is this the last save file I had before uh, I played as Ash? I guess we'll find out later. I'm not gonna click back into the save file to find out. It looks like a frost bat. Probably like one of my worst nightmares, so I'm not gonna deal with it. Also, I've just gone backwards, so good job, me. What is that fish doing there? What is this thing? I'm fighting it. Let's go. It's beatdown time. I'll destroy, you. I'll destroy you, you foolish water spirits. Come here, you. Die, I say. I will destroy you all. None, so None shall survive. Try to say survive before I said shawl. All right, that one's out. Cool, get the next one. Stop guarding and die. Nice and void, Tempest. Luke, are you in overlimit right now? For what reason? Seems a little overkill, man. There we go, easy kills. Get these frost bats out of here. Is that what these are called? Water bats, my bad. Not exactly ice. More liquid than solid, some might say. Easy kill. All right, finish this fool, Al. Die already. Just stay dead. Yeah, fools, stay dead. One of my favorite things about having Guy to play as is I love having a healing move, like center, that you can just heal yourself really fast. Very nice. Has Luke changed? Luke sure seems different. Yes, I suppose he's changed a bit. That must have been a tough experience for him. Axerius collapse and Van's betrayal. Well, we'll have to wait and see whether he can truly change or not. I just hope he doesn't let everything get him down. I wouldn't worry. He's got you to depend on. And you as well. I suppose. Anyway, shall we get going? Yes, let's. All right then. Why did you wait for me? We're friends, right? Oh, wait. I'm your servant. Sorry. I'm a replica. I'm not your master. It's not like I was acting friendly towards you just because you were my master. What? You're you, and Ash is Ash. Replica or whatever. You're real to me. Guy is the exactly the kind of friend that you need in a situation like this. Man, Guy is great. Anyways, no matter what the score says. Tyr. Teodoro said the fall of Axeriuth was written in the score, right? Yes, it seems Grandfather knew about it. Then shouldn't we have asked him about what's going to happen next? It might have been helpful. You think so? I'm not really sure about that. If you can't change it. Come on. It might be better not to know. Yes, Grandfather probably didn't tell me about Axerioth for the same reason. You gotta seize your destinies, man. Yeah, but... Besides, Grandfather was saying that according to the score, St. Bina is safe. So I doubt it would help us much anyway. Yeah, we won't know if it's going to fall or not until the time comes. But if, there's a but if there's a chance it will, we can't just ignore it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Gotta, you gotta take a note from Xenoblade Chronicles and, like, try and change your future and all. Hello. 